morning. Oh, and welcome to my daily vlog of life on our beef and arable farm here in South Yorkshire. Um, much more positive day today. Um, all the cattle are on dry ground. Um, we'll probably pop down and take the ones that are in the little small strip. Um, a bag of meal today just to um, get them used to us so that we can fetch them up a bit easier over the next couple of days or so. So, um, yeah, got to feed the cattle that are in the, in the sheds first. So, so let's, uh, let's do that and let's get them bedded down. Connor's just going, putting the uh, teagle on. And Andy's here, morning Andy. That's out feeding on the JCB TM320S. And these here are some of those we fetched from the field yesterday. So we'll feed them all out and then Andy will come in and bed them all down. We bed the cattle down with straw every single day, 365 days a year, um, even on Christmas Day, New Year's Day, you know, any birthdays, things like that. We're still bedding cattle down and feeding them twice a day, twice a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, um, just that works best for us. Um, same with the straw. Some people bed them down like every third day or whatever, but um, we find little and often, um, just topping it up all the time, fresh sheets all the time, um, is just the best for the cattle. And then <laughs> the best for the cattle is not because it's some like tick box animal welfare, you know, oh, we've ticked that box, that's all right. Animal welfare is good business. Like. You cannot make money if cattle aren't happy because they're not going to put weight on. First thing a cow does when it's when it's unhappy, stops chewing its cud, stops eating, stops performing. It's just simple as that. So we just swapped jobs a minute. Um, I'm going to put the straw out for Andy. So we'll use maybe 10 bales like that in the morning. Sometimes we'll use 13, sometimes we'll use less in the summer. But um, yeah, when it's a wet morning like this, we'll be using plenty of straw. Now I'm on, we're putting the silage and uh, hay out. So any new cattle that we have, they have as much as they can eat of silage and hay, which is grass. Um, and then a little bit of the feed that we, we mix up, just to get them onto this new diet, because you never want to really um, change diets with cattle rapidly, or any animal really. Um, it just causes problems. So these are the ones that we've fetched in from grass. So we'll get this unwrapped for him. He's getting worried already because we've, we've got to take the um, tractor down the track that's flooded today. Yeah, it's a very narrow track. So that'll be coming up later in the video if you want to watch that. Andy says he wants to go in from the other end and walk in while I drive down. <laughs> we'll see anyway, we'll see. I'm going to jump on the 6215 because we've got a little bit of muck we need to get out today. Um, the outside yard of course has had a lot of water on it and um, we need to get a fresh start on it. So we'll go and hook the trailer up and everything will be ready. We've still got a bit of a load on this trailer because it's been that wet, we've not been able to get into the field. Well. Today it's still a similar situation, but we're gonna have to go into the field. Right, it's all on, eventually. Right, so we're going to tip this in the field here somewhere. Um, sorry about a tractor for here. We've got two cases here, picking them up, spreaders up. Both. We'll leave that up there because we've still got the rest of the feeding to do. Probably can start getting in the muck out. So that's Andy and Connor opening the gates and blowing the straw out. Just a big fan, rip the straw to pieces and then put it wherever we want it in the shed. So now we're on with putting in them here into the feed. I've already done one, we'll put in this second one. It's coffee time and I'm using this mug carrier that uh, John Deere, Mick and Tracy got us. Business. Some muck out of me, that's one trailer done. He's made a great job of bedding them down. They're all content laid. What's this? Andy's coming with a hammer. This looks dangerous. What have you got a hammer for? I need to uh, put the front of that trough on. Ah. Um, 
It's a Watson feed trough and they keep, we must have some cattle here that know how to take the clips off. So we're going to put it back on and then we're going to put bolts through and then I've never heard of a cow that can get a spanner and undo some bolts. So. <laughs> hey, cheekies. What are these bolts, Andy? Where are they from? These are what I brought up from, aren't they? Andy's, uh, Andy's bolts we're using now. We don't have any as small as this. These troughs, you can just have them made how, however you like. So you could have that bit welded in, but um, yeah, it just comes with it being able to take it off, I suppose. So if you need like, I don't know, maybe for like younger stock or something. Or... Oh, if you had stuff with horns, maybe you won't want that bit. Like yeah, you'd want something a bit different. So like, I guess it's just so that it's more versatile for a wide range of farmers, but we love this trough. Well built business. And now the front will never come off because it's got bolts in it. Right, so me and Andy are gonna go with the trailer now and the gates, bag of meal, bits and bobs like that. Leave Connery and milling and doing mixers and just having to tidy up. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get these cattle on that got onto that high ground yesterday. Where do you reckon, John? Andy's worried that it's gonna be way too deep. I reckon, like, if it gets to the top of that trailer tyre, I'd be surprised. Yeah. yeah. I think we're up here. You think? Yeah. Nah, I think we'll be alright. One way to find out, anyway. It's a long way to back up as well if we get down there. <laughs> we can't, you'll just have to watch me back. <laughs> I'm driving this tyre. Andy's really nervous about this guy, so I think you wouldn't drive it, would you? No. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't, I knew you wouldn't. Right, so we're gonna get off. <laughs> <laughs> Andy stress level. Uh, Is that a maximum? Yeah, Some, my stomach's down there. <laughs> the tractor might be down there in a bit. <laughs> Don't tell Andy, but I'm a little bit worried too. Um, this is some big ditches on either side, but um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let Andy know that I'm worried. Play cool. How fast shall I go into it, Andy? Um, what point do we... Wait there, let me do this mirror. It'll be alright, it'll be alright, it'll be alright. I'd rather see, have it out. Just have it out. <coughs> Fold it in when we need to go swimming. There's the posts. They're under the water. But it's lower. The track's higher than the posts. Mm, it might get deep, you know. Yeah, it's gonna get deep. Where do you reckon if it gets like touching glass, do you think that's too deep? I think the I think the tracks here under. <laughs> I think the engine breathers are fairly far up. We haven't got a lot of room. Goes over where that clip is for the for the um, for the front arms, and we'll we'll call it out. Yeah. <coughs> right. Where's the track here? Okay, yeah, we're above there. We're, we're there now. We're there now. Just we're in. Let's back up while we've still got time. That's not going to happen today, then. <laughs> the, uh, the trailer axle comes back into life. Better watch them ditches either side, aren't they, Andy? Yeah. Jeez, there's a fair few geese on the stubbles. Canada rats. I mean geese. Yeah, as you see where it got to on there. I mean, and it was only getting a lot deeper. And the, the, the tractor, I'm sure, would be able to take it like up to probably here. But 
how the car was going to be alright coming out in that, I don't know. Yeah, so we got to there and it was only going to get deeper and then I guess like the oil breather would be under. If we were an emergency, could we have got through? Yeah, I'm sure we would have just carried on, but I know Andy were about to pass out. So the milling's going on and we're going to get some welding done on what's going to be a new cattle pen for us. It's taking the uh, the gates round now. Things are a bit tight though. We got it. Then we're going to just hang them where we think's a good place, and um, and he's going to weld on some some hinges. Well, the plan is in here to make this into a cattle pen for the cows coming in. Uh, we just need to move these straw bales here. Then if you remember, we have got like some slots in the floor where we can put our gates in, but we haven't got any gates at this end. So that's what we've been doing. Well, so I say we, uh, I mean the Royal We as in Andy has been doing. So Andy's just welding some box section to the back of the gate crook. So our giant feed mixer is processing the hay and the silage at the minute. We just want to chop that down so it's a nice bite-sized chunks for the cattle. And then we'll put the rest of the uh, feed in a little bit later. Right, my dad wants me to have another go going down the lane. Um, he says drop the trail off at the top and just go down with the tractor and then at least if like it does get too deep we're not worrying about backing it. Uh, back up the uh, up the track and I think Andy would be happier that way because that means he doesn't have to stop in the tractor um, while I go down there uh, so yeah right we'll maybe try that <laughs> back down here try and attempt to uh, Joe goes is through the water with the, the two turn um, so yeah well, yeah okay I think Andy's going to stop out he says and I think we'll back the trailer around the corner just in case something does go wrong and then at least we can get another machine down here. Are you getting in with me, Andy? No. <laughs> oh, the fun. Snowing you, Andy. See you later. Bye. Okay, so here we go. So just stay in the middle of this, Joe. So now we are a fair bit deeper than we were before. And it <laughs> slapping his head up off up there. Okay. So we're now fully submerged with the weight block. Right now, it's just a bit like, am I actually on the track or not? Not gonna lie, it's pretty deep now. The fan belt is throwing, throwing water around. Um starting to get steamy you know we're, pa we're past the the PTO PTO level. No, we're not going deeper, it's me moving the arm. Uh whether it gets deeper any further along. So, yeah, the belt's squeaking. Um, hmm. It's embarrassing if this gets stuck. Try again. You know what, I think it's just going to get deeper. 
It's just gonna throw throw water all over the engine bay, isn't it? Right, let's leave it. Yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah. Well, you can see the tide mark on the yeah. thing there, can't you? Um, we'll open bonnet up and just see if there's any like bits that got to there, didn't it? It was throwing. It was just it was throwing water around there with the fan belt. I thought, well, if it throws water, if it can throw it. You got it. That oil caps and everything here, innit? Yeah. Dipstick. Yeah, dipstick will not be sealed so much, will it? Hmm. Yeah, it will just start throwing it, and then you think, well, is it going to throw it, and then it suck in some water? Probably wouldn't do, but. I mean, them dipsticks should be sealed, shouldn't they? But hmm. where would people go to? There, there. That's the middle of the fan belt. There's some ECUs on. Is ECUs on top? I think they're actually on top, aren't they? I took it to the, the top of there and then when the front wheels started nearly disappearing um, I'm not going to lie Andy I've sort of started cracking it a little bit and I thought yeah, yeah. let me get out of here you notice when I was backing up? Yeah, messing up yeah I was messing up like and, and going down the bank I could feel the wheel dropping the back wheel dropping and I was like yeah this is this is not a fun situ situation to be in Jesus, if things couldn't get any worse, yeah. Yeah. this has been on fire. Jesus Christ. As if our days can't get any worse. I managed to turn it off and then get with the pressure washer and put out the flames. So the ignition still comes on. We're just going to wait and make sure it cools down to... Um, yeah, before we, we drop it off or what have you, but... It's done the windscreen, obviously, as you can see. Um, um, <sighs> oh, just as things get better, things get worse. Um, yeah, right, another attempt at getting these cattle off anyway, we're gonna go a different way. It could have been a lot worse, it could have been fully burnt out. I mean, it's. Yeah, kind of got to it pretty soon, did it? Yeah, while ringing my dad at the same time. <laughs> Said he was tried ringing you, he tried to ring my dad and got to get you and the fan and give him an air click on. Good. And he just shut it off. Just, yeah. Not Mills bunged up now, but. It'll be right. Just, yeah. At least, if it had set cab on fire, that's just soon after. Oh, yeah, it yeah, yeah, wouldn't be able to get in, would it? Now we've got stuck with trailers. Dad's like, carry on. Both of us said not to bother. We said stop. And he wants to get down here. Yes, it was wet and wet. We're going into wetter and wetter ground. It's stuck now. So 
Well, we can get the tractor out. We can. If he lifts his arms up, maybe it might make a bit of a difference. But that's out. How wet it is. Yeah, I know it is. But if we've got, if we can get some into pull trailer out. Respect your elders. Respect, yeah, respect your elders, everyone. You know what's going? I'd have stopped just when it was literally just as it was sinking. Get here, get here, I'll get it through. Uh, he didn't get it through, did he, anyway? What a day. Anybody can think of anything else that could go wrong, please let me know, because um, things come in threes. We're in line for it, 100% in line for it. Um, yeah. Hmm, okay. Yeah, one burnt out tractor. One stuck tractor. Um, got to get as many chains as we can, or straps, anything really, to pull it out. So we're going to try and get these chains out. My dad's going to try and get this out of here. It's not looking good. We're nearly there. It's just playing now, I think. I'm going to try and pull it now. It is moving all the time. <laughs> Go on, it's diff lock in. Time to put diff lock in. Ben. A lot, isn't there? So there is bottom in this ground. Jeez, what a day. With him lifting a bit higher as well, it's lifting the front of the trailer, which is better, making it easier to pull. Yeah, and he's gonna have fun plowing it, isn't it? No, he's back on now. Honestly, it's like the SOM here. Jeez. Swap chain again, and we're trying again. She is moving. All right, I took a chain off now. Put another one on. Thought he's with shortening it, we're maybe lifting the trailer up a little bit more. It is going. It is going. He's got it now. As long as it keeps momentum going, it should be all right. But yeah, as long as it keeps going forward at the same speed, it'll stop. And me and Ben have got the nice job of sorting out the terribly mucky trains. Two hours and it is nothing. No. Yeah. We've got a burnt out tractor. Is that an achievement? No. No, I don't think it is either. Hey Andy, enjoy ploughing this. My dad's already done it. So we've got them out. Right, so the cattle, um, we're gonna, um, gonna forget trying to get them today because it's just, there ain't no way down there. Apart from maybe on the floodplain. But um, if we're making this much mess in the field and we make that much, much mess of the 
the flood bank then the environment agency are going to be proper on top of it um, so it looks like they're going to be stopping stopping there for a bit can't say i haven't tried to get them off try my blood my daddies today um, and uh, yeah it turned out to be another day of nightmares in it but how many things can go wrong can go so that's what we do he's off home with that i'm going to take this Vagra meal on a long walk to these cattle. Um, ben and my dad told me that this is the shorter way coming this way. It's not. It's a lot longer. It might be marginally quicker than driving round, but the walk is a lot longer. Um, so anyway, I'll be happy when this bag is empty. I've got to you guys, aren't I? Turning this area up a bit though, aren't you? Hey? I think I'll fetch a wheelbarrow next time. So. Put the meal down and these guys are all happily eating that full of energy um i'll fetch them a bit more down tomorrow rather than just half a bag but um they don't want to have too much of it because they're not used to it they're just used to this grass so I'll just give them a bit you are looking happy aren't you Nice night's sleep. I can laugh about things going wrong, but I couldn't laugh if something went wrong with them. Because, you know, I know these are going for beef and all vegans about, well, they're going to die anyway. Well, there's, I'm dying needlessly and horrifically, or there's, I'm having a purpose. And um, yeah, we like looking after these guys, don't we? Hey? Especially when they're like fairly friendly like that. Well, they're, they're going to be anyway when I'm fetching them feed, aren't they? So the water level's dropped, but <laughs> not nowhere near enough to be having cattle stood on dry ground in there. Which is dropped in this stream. This um, was running over the top. And now it's half a metre down, so I don't know if that's draining the other side of the site there, which has got high ground really. It'd be better draining this side, because um, that is just a pond. And that's where they were stood last night, in fact. You see over there? There's a swan on there. And a duck. And that's where they were stood, so thank God we got them out yesterday. Yeah, but the water don't look to have come down. At all here. At that side of the river is some of our grassland, but that does flood. I mean, it stays wet in that corner most of the year. It's only like sort of summertime that we can get get on it to uh, to cut the grass off, and then we've got some stubble just in front over there. It will have been flooded a little bit, but it's not a problem because we're going to put maize on that. I think that is a plan. Um, so that won't have won't have affected it and it won't have affected that grass either it's on and off and jobs are good and um but yeah it's been wet yeah, i don't know if you can see where them people are it's flooded all the bits of straw and stuff into the corner or the bits that have come off the river so that'll be fun when andy comes to plow it well it should have rotted down by then right back to the high looks and off up to the farm so i'm back in the yard and dogs are out um ben's moved it so it must have started there's a lot of glass to clean up and get that sorted in a bit that's a really good sign that it's actually movable i've not talked to ben yet about what sort of things were coming up on it but um yeah that's that's good but obviously it's going to need a new window and then checking the wiring that's underneath um i guess it will be some straw that's caught fire next to the exhaust that's what my guess will be although you know i don't really know you just cannot get to any of these parts under there without dismantling or taking the cab off it's it's a bit of a bad job um so yeah uh, we'll get get them to come out and assess that anyway tomorrow and see what's actually right and wrong with it i say about that tractor as well you will often see andy blowing that out in the videos so it's definitely not andy's fault or connor's fault or anybody's fault like 
um, he is constantly blowing that tractor down. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to add that because I know the comments, oh, you should blow your tractors down. Da, 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 da. Well, he does all the time, literally, like, to the point where I'm like, oh, come on, Andy, you're blowing it out again, sort of thing. So, um, yeah, anyway, Ben says that the steering is not very good on it. Um, it says it goes like jerky. So whether that's like electronic, like maybe a wire's gone, or whether it's because something's happened with the steering boxes in that area behind the bonnet. Yeah, who knows until they come in to look at it. But um, yeah, what um, what a week, that's all I could say. But nobody's life was lost. And uh, what can you, just what can you say? Get yourself down about it, or you can just pick yourself up, carry on, and we'll get through another day. Fireman Sam are going to uh, fill this bin up. <laughs> I reckon Rambo to Fireman Sam now. Oh, yeah. We have had some successes though today. Andy's got these gates hung on here, which is good. So I just need to move some of the hay out of this shed um, when we get a bit of space in one of the others. So then we can put in the wall along there and then we'll have a new um, pen for the cows, which is great. Mix to mention is Henry Ayrton and your sister Martha. Why not? Let's throw that in there. Um, sorry, it's not on the mixer, but yeah, it's getting a real long, busy, busy video. They've took the mixer down the bottom of the yard. I need to get these hay bales out of here. But if anybody else wants their name in the video, like Henry's, then there's a link in the description below. All we ask for is a little donation to Just um, Giving, which goes straight to the air ambulance, um, the Yorkshire air ambulance, if I can get my words out right today. Anyway, gonna crack on with this. Open Andy's two gates. So I'm getting down this here. See how it, it changed color um, and getting it stacked into here. This evening, so another long day, but gets us a bit further forward tomorrow. Doing enough stacking for tonight, I'm starting to get tired and that's when you start making mistakes. So, um, yeah, well, yeah, we've got about another 15 to 20 bales to move and then that job will be nearly done. Um, so, I think this is where I'm gonna end the video. Hopefully you've liked it. If you have, press like button, subscribe. Um, yeah, disasters happen. Um, what can I say? Like, what, yeah, what can you do? There's no you can do, is there? You just got to carry on and just hope that tomorrow is better. Um, which recently has not been the case, but um, I don't know. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's one of them, isn't it? You let it get you down, or you just like think, well, what a ridiculous situation to be in, and at least somebody out there might think. You know what? I've had a really bad day today, but not as bad as Joe. So oh, jobs are good. At... Yeah, I'll, I'll make somebody feel good along the way. So it's good. It's all good. Right. Anyway, with that, I'm off. Um, yeah, to go to bed. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.